Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to achieve a perfect drone orbit shot using After Effects. So to get started I'm going to import my footage and before we actually start I'm just going to quickly preview my footage so that you can see what exactly I'm talking about. So in this shot the drone is making an orbit around this building but if I were to speed up this footage you can see that it's almost looking like it's shaking and that's because it's pretty hard to achieve a perfect orbit with a drone if you're flying manually and then this building is moving horizontally to the left or to the right and that way it doesn't look perfect. So we're going to fix that really quickly in After Effects. So I'm going to drop this footage into a new composition and then the next thing that I'm going to do is click on window and then show the tracker. So the tracker is going to show up right here and then with your footage selected you're going to click on stabilize motion. Now this track point is going to appear in the footage view and then to explain this most simply in this smaller rectangle you have to select something that you're going to track. So I'm not going to select the entire building, instead I'm just going to select this tower. So I'm going to expand the smaller rectangle until it covers the entire tower that I'm tracking and then with this second rectangle it defines the search area. So since this footage is not really moving that much, just leaving it like this should work perfectly fine. Now to find out you have to click right here where it says analyze forward and let After Effects analyze your footage. So you can follow the progress of the tracking and if something goes wrong you can stop it, change your track points and then hit analyze forward again. So now that the analysis is complete I can just check my footage to see if the tracking is done correctly. And then once again I'm going to select my footage and then hit apply. Now you're going to get these apply options which say apply X and Y, X only or Y only. So the most important axis for us right now is the X axis since it is the horizontal axis and I'm going to select apply both X and Y dimensions. So this is pretty much up to you and the type of shot that you have. If it's a simple drone orbit you're gonna be pretty much fine selecting both X and Y. If it's a more complex shot in which the drone is also moving upwards or downwards that way changing its height then you might want to experiment and change this to X only but that's going to be pretty much up to you and trying those two different options to see what works best for you. And right now once we're complete we can preview this footage and you can see immediately that black edges are going to appear around your footage. And that is because the position of your footage is going to be constantly changing to compensate for the imperfections in the drone movement. But as you can see this tower right here stays centered throughout the entire clip. So if you want to fix this your best option is to shoot your footage in a higher resolution than your project is. So if your project was in full HD you should shoot your footage in 4K if possible. So the best workaround for this problem is to simply increase the scale of the footage until there are no more black edges appearing. So let me just check that. I guess this 110% is gonna be fine for this clip. Now you could use some effects which are going to expand the edges of your clip but it might not work best as this is not a transition but rather it's an entire shot so it might come off looking really bad and that quality loss that you're going to experience by increasing the scale might be a better option in that case. So that's it for this quick tutorial. For more tutorials like this one please check out my channel. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.